Hi, my name is Fofai, and today I'm very happy to be here at Methuen Memorial Music Hall in Massachusetts, USA. And I'm actually playing a concert here tonight and wanted to take the opportunity to show you this beautiful instrument. So this organ was originally built by the Walker Orgelbau Company in Germany and was later overhauled by Aeolian Skinner. And now it basically is a large mixture of organ styles and that's a lot of fun to uh, play around with and try all the single stops. So uh, let's just get into it and um, let's start at the great manual, the second manual, the Hauptwerk, <laughs> and uh, the principles, a 16-foot principle. Then there's an 8-foot principle as well. And if you couple these, you already get a very nice and a warm uh, principle sound. An octave. Super octave. got several mixtures on this organ. There's a furniture, there's a shaft, and a cymbal which is very high-pitched. And of course we can combine them and get this. massive plenum, so to say. Then we've got a Gemson, which is actually um, the original principle by Walker, I think. At least the original principle from the swell, when I remember correctly. And then there's a Walker diapason, which um, uh, adds to the organ as well. works to F, so you usually have to combine it with uh, the other principle. So to compare the principles, like this, that's a normal one, that's a walker. It's much brighter and um, wider in sound as well. So we've got a gamba 8 foot. And then we got all these fun mutation stops. So um, we basically get a uh, quint, two to thirds. <laughs> Eight hertz as well. And then there are Großquinten, as we would call them in Germany. And these basically make the plenum a lot stronger. So I will just register 16, eight and four foot principles, sounding like this. I add the Großquint. It adds a bit, and then there is a Groß Terz as well. So you get uh, more overtones, so to say. And then we've got some beautiful flutes as well. So there's a burden 16 foot. And of course, a 8 foot flute. Then we've got an amazing 16 foot string voice called Viola Mayor, which sounds like this. Going up on the uh, stop list, there are several flutes actually. Each one built by a different organ builder, but please don't ask me uh, which builder built which flute. <laughs> so there's a flaute d'amour. 
Wonderful. There's a couple of flute. And a spitzflöte. Sounds more like a principal, right? And then there is a two foot waldflöte as well. I always like to combine these with uh, eight foot and four foot stops. These are the flutes of the manual, and then we've got several trumpets which are very bright and shiny. There's an eight foot trumpet. Sixteen foot. But if you combine them, then you got uh, some power. So, then there's a special mixture which was uh, reconstructed as well from a cornet pipe, I think. Uh, which uh, tends to be the original Walker uh, mixture, I think, with the Walker principle. It sounds like this. So it's basically very German. And um, that's basically the great manual. So let's pull out all of these stops, or at least let's pull out the foundations first, and then work our way up to the high ranks and high mixtures and see what they sound like. So uh, that's basically eight, 16, and two foot uh, all combined and something like this. Let's add the mixture and then we are uh, in full tutti of the manual. Well, as you can hear, it's, it's massive and a lot of fun to play around with. As you can imagine, <laughs> I like these loud stops. So uh, let's check out the positive, which is the first manual and uh, quite a small division compared to the other ones. And we've got uh, the usual uh, gedeckt eight foot. A four foot Nachthorn. Two foot. Uh, very joyful and uh, playful to uh, work with. Then there's a quintadena, as we would call it. I like to combine these with the eight foots. Beautiful. Then we've got the mutations, the Nassat zwei zwei drittel, as we would say it in Germany. It's easier for me to, to pronounce. Then is a Terz, making it a bit sour in sound. And 
on then, we can work our way up to the principal plenum, uh, four foot principal, two foot, and combined with the eight and four foot. Uh, then we got a quint, one, one third. It adds a bit of overtones. Then a super octave, one foot. And a sharp uh, three, which is very bright. And to top it off, we've got a cymbal as well. I put the sharp in, so you can hear the cymbal. Uh, which is very nice to combine with the 8 foot only, actually, uh, bringing you a very bright Baroque sound. Or 8 foot and 4 foot and 2 foot. Very joyful, very shiny. And then we've got a chrome horn as a solo reed. Also very nice. So if you combine all of these, we get um, the tutti of the positive sounding burp, burp, um, burp, like this. So you've got quite something to work with here. Um, next manual is the swell, which is one of the largest divisions of the organ and also houses the uh, most beautiful solo stops here. So let's start with the principles though. So the principle eight foot on the uh, swell. Four foot. Two foot. the mixture so already quite strong um, we've got some flute voices as well which are amazing so that's a French flute for example that's a four foot variant And a two-foot piccolo. Very beautiful. And if you combine these, we got a lovely flute plano. Then we can check out these strings, which are very American, as I'd say as a German. Um, we've got the viola da gamba. We've got the Aeolina, which should be an original stop, I think. Very soft, and it's nearly unnoticeable if you close this well. Didn't know if you hear that, <laughs> but we'll see. And then there is uh, the celeste, sounding by itself like this. And if we combine that with the viola and the eolin, oh <laughs> Beautiful, and we can even add like a couple of 16 foot, for example. Oh, 
even add principles to make it a bit stronger. Or the oboe. Or at the forefoot as well. very impressive so and very beautiful to play as well uh, we've got a Nassat here which is original I think <laughs> don't judge me if I don't uh, know exactly but I think it's original and if we combine it with the eight and four flute uh, we get the typical uh, Nassat sound <laughs> then there's the Terz Beautiful as well. Uh, let's check out the reed slops. There's a bassoon 16 foot, which is very, <laughs> very fun to use. There's a oboe. And a trumpet, which is very strong. And a clarin, actually, which I missed. And combined, they sound like this. And if you add these fun 16 and 4 foot couplers, it gets even better. So. That's as well, and um, let's pull out all of these stops to hear what uh, the tutti sounds like. Couple to the pedal, and there we go. With the 16 and 4 foot couplers. very strong in the hole, I guess, <laughs> but also uh, very nice to uh, play around with. So the last manual we've got is uh, the uh, choir manual, and this also has some amazing reeds as well, and some flutes. So let's start with the uh, Konzertflöte 8 foot, which sounds very German, and also sounds uh, very German. Beautiful. There's a four foot option as well. Combined, they sound like this. And there's even a two foot gems horn. Then we've got a viola, eight foot, a string voice. And an Undamaris, which works with the viola. That makes it a bit uh, uh, tremulant-like, you know. Uh, there's a 16-foot quint as well, which works with these. And of course, we've got octave cabblers. We've got a, well, we've got a symbol which is a uh, 
very bright. If you combine it with the flutes and the viola, you get this. It's a quite an acceptable mixture. And then we've reached the reed pipes. So we've got a Vox Humana, 16 foot. A Vox Angelica, four foot. Which also is a nice solo voice if you use it an octave low, for example. Uh, a clarinet. Which is very, very beautiful. There's actually a tremulants for all the manuals, but I have to leave them away because of time issues with the video. So, uh, but we can check out the uh, clarinet with the tremolo, which is uh, very fast actually, so I wouldn't probably use it in concert later. <laughs> Very beautiful. Probably my favorite read stuff. Yeah, I think it's my favorite actually. So um, let's combine all of these and make uh, some joyful noise. <laughs> Kaplers. So a very uh, usable manual as well. So there actually are some chimes on the organ, which uh, you can uh, assign to each manual. In the organ case, there's a small switch there. And you can actually adjust the uh, loudness of the uh, chimes as well. So that's level four, I think. There are five levels. So it's pretty loud, so to say. And um, yeah, it starts here and goes all the way up to C, I think. Okay, not. <laughs> yeah, so it's A to uh, E. Um, but I mean, it, it sounds nice. And it's always nice to have some. I actually recorded a piece earlier with these, and um, you can look forward to that. So that's the um, stops of the manuals. Now we have to check out the stops of the pedal, because these are very, <laughs> very fun and very strong and uh, definitely shake the hole. So um, let's start with the uh, Super 16 foot. Then we've got a 16-foot burden. Which is a bit stronger and uh, you could actually combine these. Then let's check out the Spitzflöte 8-foot. Very nice stop. The Nachtfon 4-foot. That's for your uh, soft Bach pieces. <laughs> and the Waldflöte 2. Then there's a wonderful principal 16 foot. Which is very strong and heavy. An eight foot octave. And a four foot octave, which is pretty strong. Then we've got a huge mixture. 
which is actually very high up in the organ case, and that's why it's so <laughs> massive. We'll hear it, oh, let's hear it now with uh, these. So that's basically enough for your plenum. Uh, then we have a quintetring, which is pretty soft. There's a wonderful shallow eight foot. And then we've got these uh, stops you are supposed to use with uh, uh, foundations. So the quint, the terz, which all add some overtones to the, to the pedal, which makes it very interesting. This contrabass, 16 foot. And then, a grand burden. We've basically arrived at the 32 foot uh, basis. Um, alone, it sounds like this, but if you combine it with the principle, for example, it uh, shakes the room. It's very impressive. And then we can check out the read stops. So let's start with the bassoon, which is pretty soft. Soft yet beautiful. This is two foot. A four foot clairon. A very strong trumpet. An even stronger bombard. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a contrabombard, which is a free reed, actually, and uh, doesn't really sound loud here, but in the hall it's uh, very, uh, very present. And definitely adds to the, to the overall sound. So uh, let's combine all of these bit by bit and see <laughs> what we end like. Eight foot, four foot, two foot, principles. That's safety mixture for later. 16, eight overtones. Uh, the bassoon, 32 foot, 32 foot. You can actually hear that it sounds like a, sounds like a reed, but it isn't. Um, trumpet, clairvoy, two foot, bombard. That's very impressive. Well, after hearing the pedal, we all want to hear the tutti of the organ, which is uh, pretty impressive <laughs> for a small hall like this, small hall. Um, and um, I was very surprised when I heard it first time. I'd suggest that we use the crescendo pedal to uh, work our way up, and then we can hear the tutti of the organ. Thank you for watching. Um, please comment down below what you think of the instrument. Please leave a like. I'll be in touch and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, crescendo time.